Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Um, well, I will here to present a, a project that we are collaborating with uh, another associations and companies. It's called DD. It's a full open source learning ecosystem. And I'm trying to speak, uh, explaining the project for 15 minutes, and then I try to do a live demo, if internet wants. Uh, who I am? I am Pau Plana, the CEO of Tre Tresipun. We are a, a Moodle partner company established in 2004. This is my contact if you want to uh, ask me something uh, before that, I, after that uh, presentation, please feel free. Well, we are a, a great team and, and uh, thank you of them. We, we create that project that I hope that you enjoy. It. This is our history, just um, to put it here, some things. <laughs> and the agenda is the context of the project first, the, where the idea comes from, and what is the DD, and a demo, and the questions. Uh, during the demo also, if you want to do uh, some question, you can do it. Okay, the, well, the, the project starts before just the, the pandemic uh, time, in the first, uh, Open Ed Tech uh, talk that we have in 2019. Um, we we was thinking about the 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 problem of open source to be easy to use and and, and the the people that that uh, perceive that the open source have some problems that you need to know uh, a lot of stuff for doing installations and maintaining, and and then the COVID becomes and. The big attacks uh, goes for the schools like uh, sharks, <laughs> and and monopolize uh, all the all the schools. No, and well, just imagine that the big attacks that here are Apple, Microsoft, or or Android, uh, Google, are much bigger than uh, a lot of the countries around the world. So they have a lot of power, and if they want to um, go to the schools. It's uh, for something, maybe not just for help people and children, it's just uh, for, you know, other reasons. And the problem is that the, the property of the children data, it has to be uh, always kept by the students, the families, or the centers, not for a big company that you know, don't know what happens with that data. Also, the advertising that the, all the people perceive all the time with your mobile, but also the children that are more influenceable and, and the advertising that they receive, it, you know, it's constant. And also because the education has to be a critic. It's something that uh, really matters, no? Uh, who decides what the children access for, for, the, for the content, which is the content, which the, the way that they receive that content. It's something that uh, we have to to keep uh, decided by our teachers or where, you know, our public systems and, and the people who know that and who are care about the, the, the children. Okay, we imagine a, a solution that it's a plan called Digitalización Democrata, Democrática, sorry, it's a democratic digitalization plan. It's uh, based in tools that are open, open source, of course. And how we start? It's a group of families that receive the, the when you start a course uh, in, a, in a school here, you receive a paper for, from Google to uh, accept all the terms and conditions. And there is a group of families that they are concerned about that and try to uh, look some collaboration to change that. And he put in contact with XNet. XNet is an uh, association and they, after you know, trying to convince the governments and, and other uh, organizations, they start a collaboration with the Barcelona City Hall, and they public a public tender, and we won it with CISART, that it's another company that we start the project. And now we are in a, in a phase of a pilot project. We, are, say we had uh, three schools the last year, and we start 10 more this year. Uh, well, this is at least the, the, the history of the project. We, we met XNet in 2019. In 2021, we was developing a full. We're still developing the project. And now we are in the pilot. 
OK, the DD, it's uh, like a, a starting a plan that it's a democratic digitalization plan, that it's uh, public servers. So all the infrastructure that we have to uh, manage, that we have to use to manage these uh, systems uh, have to be auditable and really free. Uh, the, the, the suite, it's uh, what we develop, and also uh, a training for teachers, because uh, Google and Microsoft spends a lot of money training teachers and make that uh, uh, change the, their mind that think that the uh, Google or Microsoft uh, tools are the best, and we have to do the same. The main goals is the UX. We, we have the, in mind that all these uh, kind of tools are, you know, right, like sexy tools, and we need to have uh, to do to try to do that. Uh, Model and other uh, tools are also sexy. It's based also in a single identity management. We only have uh, one tool that manages all the users and groups, and this. Uh, also, the single sign on uh, allows you in all the other uh, tools to access to the information that cares to you. It's a simple setup. Uh, we are uh, improving that, but with uh, Docker and, and other um, uh, well, uh, tools like that, uh, we're trying to do a, a simple setup. And also, of course, it's uh, really secure and everything is monitored. Okay, the solution is to we, you, we try to imagine all the tools that a student uh, needs in a school, in a class, and we put it together. We use Moodle, WordPress, OnlyOffice, uh, BigBlueButton, Nextcloud, and well, another, another, uh, another tools. And we try to integrate, but not only in the single sign-on, also uh, doing the, you know, some features that can uh, mix from every, every tool. Uh, the best, uh, the resume of the features is a single sign on, a menu uh, to uh, uh, simply jump to another uh, tool to another one. Uh, you can customize uh, all the look and feel of the of the of all the tools. There is a centralized management for users and groups, and it's a a tool that it's doing uh, with open source tools, so everybody can uh, manage and develop over that. The authentication, sorry, uh, we use Kcloak, and this is, and with uh, SAML2, we can do a uh, single sign-on to all the tools. This is more or less the menu. We uh, develop a menu that uh, put in all the tools that is in the system to have the, you know, the feeling that you are always in the same, in the same environment. Here in that menu, you can uh, change your avatar like a user, you can, uh, you have access to the menu for the suite services, and also can uh, put some links uh, that every school can choose to put the link of the, the, the school or Wikipedia or whatever, and also the logo and the, and the colors are configurable. Mm -hmm. Well, I pass that fast and I go for the demo. I think that maybe it's uh, better. This is the part of the admin that uh, we can uh, change the colors and, and change everything and the user management. And this is uh, the architecture of the dockers. Uh, everything is in GitLab and it's uh, really open, so you can download and try to install. <laughs> Maybe Jose Maria have uh, this, but you can do it. <laughs> and I don't know if you will have some questions about that. You can ask me maybe later. But it's all the dockers are um, are um, closed, and, and we have also transversal services for Blink Blue Button, the menu, and the Grafana for the monitorizing. And this is because these services need bigger uh, machines to allow the use for uh, much um, users. Okay, I go for the demo. Okay. I was logged in, sorry. Okay, well, the the suite is in Catalan right now, but uh, you can choose always uh, the, the language in, 
in, in the language that you need. The first where we access is the Moodle part. We have the, a list of uh, course, and in every course we have some information that is not in the current term of Moodle. You have the numbers of students that you are here, and if you have any news or no, uh, notification of this course and the role that you are. Here I'm like a teacher, and here I'm like a student. Okay, we developed some parts that are uh, to increase the UX and, and some features that the teachers uh, uh, ask um, a lot of times to, to us to, to develop. And it's, uh, we have here two buttons to uh, go to all the tasks that I have to for evaluate or for deliver. So if I, ha if I go here, I have all the assignments that I have to correct and I don't have to go course by course to uh, know that. So I have a simple access for everyone. Also, we create a, a quick uh, new course button here. You just press here and fill the, the name of the course. Name of the course. And select a category. And if this course is um, available to see it or not. And then the course is created. When you create a course in the day, it's not an empty uh, course. You have uh, some structure, and and the the contents are divided by uh, some tabs here. And also, you uh, have a, a big blue button classroom here, access for every course. And well, I'm going uh, in a few moments to ask, uh, tell you more about the the inside the course. But first. Um, one of the things that uh, we have to uh, to manage is the change of the of these tools in every school. Most of the schools here have a Google Classroom, for example, and we develop an, a Google Classroom importer. So you go here. This is like a wizard, and you go to the next. Uh, you can import if you have a account with a Google Classroom courses. You can easily sorry uh, well, you have to accept all the stuff of Google, and if you allow uh, you have the list of the courses that you have in your Google classroom, and then you can you know change your change the name of the course if you want. Select the category, and then if you click here, and you create the course, uh, all the content of the uh, course in the Google Classroom appears in your DD. That uh, everything is okay, and if I go here, well, I did it before with the same course, but if I go here, I have the, the course with all my uh, tasks and contents that I create in in uh, Google Classroom, I have it here. Okay, also, well, we go, how much time I have? I'm okay? Five minutes, okay. Uh, well, this is the access to the other other tools, okay? With the files, uh, you we use Nextcloud to, to manage the files. And when you go in, because uh, of the single sign-on, you are already um, log it. All the documents are also um, collaborative, so more than one user can um, edit in the same time with uh, thank you of the use of only Office. Uh, but it's a really complete open source tool to uh, edit uh, documents. And also you can create, of course, folders, uh, spreadsheets, presentations, uh, whatever you need. We also provide some templates to do that. so. It's a, it's a really interesting tool. Also for share, you have a, a lot of options, maybe more than in, in Google Drive. And you can also see the groups that you manage in the, in the tools of the beginning that I told you. Um, also, an integration that we already did is uh, that you can um, create a a task that the um, delivery of the task is a document in Nextcloud. So you don't have to change the, the tool. 
if you go here and uh, to the tasks, sorry, I think that here, there are not tasks here. Okay, here. <coughs> okay, this is a task that you have the assignment uh, created in xCloud, and when you go in, well, here I am a, a teacher, but here it's open the document of the template of this, and I see also if you are a student, you, you can complete this template and do it. And also, we use here um, the part of the web. It's a, a, we use um, multi-site WordPress, uh, where you can, uh, for example, create the site of the school here. Or also, you can create, if you work with projects, you can create uh, one page for each project for, this, for the children. And then the students can share the content in a, in a rich way that not only uh, that they are used to be in, in Moodle. Also, we have an importer from uh, Google Sites uh, Places where you click here and just write the URL of the Google site. And this, all the content is imported, imported in the DD. And anything else for that moment? If you have any question, I hope that you enjoy it. <laughs> I have a lot of time. Ah. I can show you anything else if you want. Eh? It's really complete. I go really fast. But nobody's interested in anything. There. There is a question. <laughs> Thank you. I actually have two questions. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> so my first question would be, like, um, are there any Moodle core modifications made? And the second question would be as the Moodle now, the integration of Matrix as a chat provider um, is moving, uh, making a lot of progress. And if you have already discussed, to, sorry about this, the microphone, discussed of um, adding Matrix to your sorry, system. I, I, uh, I don't understand the second question. I don't hear you well. The second question is? If you have um, Matrix, the chat system. Which well, it's it, a, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a current model, so you can put the uh, all the plugins that you want. You can install any plugin here. And, and I, I, I see, but uh, no, I mean like you have like this automatic integration of Nextcloud only Office, and you simplified this way of integrating and yeah. setting your, everything up. and. As Matrix is being on a roadmap of the Moodle headquarters anyway? So um, well, the, the roadmap now is uh, you know, to improve um, the automatization and the installation of everything, the tools. And we don't have in the roadmap the integration of any other tool. But it's an open source project. So if I want, uh, every, uh, anybody wants to, to join us, uh, we, can, we can talk it for sure. But all the all the integrations in the single sign-on are established with the with the K cloak, and if you uh, uh, speak the same language, we, we can do it for sure. I answer properly. Thank you. <laughs> I was curious to see if there was uh, like. I see that you've designed it as, um, as uh, a lot of work in the theme. Uh, is it a local plugin, or did you connect like blocks, plugin activities? And uh, well, it's a theme that we create with that, and we also work in with blocks and, and, and other activities to mix it and put it together. Yeah. yeah now the current version of this model is 3.11, and we have planned to change to the fourth version in, during the next year or the other or the other. 